sorry. You know what I didn't realize? Mm-hmm. As I was FaceTiming you, you making a video. Damn. Cause I'm literally <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, shit, I'm sorry. You live on um, YouTube. We live? We live. <laughs> Damn, YouTube, what's up? Damn, I, I do apologize. Get back to your mascara, face clone, and all that. Hi guys, welcome back to another Breetorio. We are live tonight doing a drugstore makeup haul. Well, wait, video? You get it. We doing our makeup today. So this video today is just for, I know a lot of people who don't really wear makeup or they just don't want to go and spend hundreds of dollars for makeup because I'm definitely that girl. If I can find it at a drugstore and it works just as good, then let's cop that boo. That's what this video is about today. So you can still uh, look cute on a budget is basically what this video is about today. So let's just go ahead and hop into that video. Y'all probably thought I forgot, but I didn't. Subscribe to your girl. Please hit the bell button so you can get a notification. Yes, please and thank you. And don't be clocking my nails. I know I need to get my nails done, but you want to cash out me, I'll leave my cash out below and then your girl can get her nails done, you know, but bills got to be paid for. Sorry. Which is why we're doing a drugstore makeup haul because we got to get what we can afford okay all right so first you want to start off with primer and let me take my glasses off and today we're going to use the nyx angel veil primer now i noticed that um primer did make me a little dry like bring out some of my dry spots so i'm just going to use my vena x glow infusion drops and you can use whatever serum you want that's if you're dry if you don't have dry skin then don't worry about this step but I do have dry skin and that primer look a little drying, so I'm just gonna add my add my uh, serum. So for eyebrows, I don't do a whole lot. As y'all can see, I already have pretty thick eyebrows already. So let's put concealer on mine and do it like that. If you have thin eyebrows, I do apologize. Um, this is definitely not the channel for eyebrows if that's where you're trying to learn. The concealer I'm going to use today is my ColourPop concealer. Now, this is technically drugstore. You can't find it in a drugstore like a CVS or Target or whatever. But um, on the ColourPop website, it's only $6. So, it's actually cheaper than the drugstore <laughs> concealer. We are done with eyebrows. That's all I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to go in with foundation. Today, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I am in the shade Deep Golden W10. And this is what it looks like. I really like this foundation. And it works pretty good for me. It matches pretty good. This is normally the foundation that I wear like whenever I'm going to class. I love to put this on. Then you just want to take a beauty blender or you can take a brush. I don't use a brush because my skin is dry. But um, if you do use a beauty blender, please wet it first and squeeze it out. Make sure it's damp, basically. Don't want to use a dry beauty blender because it defeats the purpose <laughs> of using a, a beauty blender. Whenever it's wet, it really like melts everything into your skin and has it blend better. But when it's damp, I'm not gonna say wet. You don't wanna soak Beauty Blender because then it's just gonna soak up all your product. Whenever you don't have any edges like me, you gotta take it all the way up there. Like, all the way up there. <laughs> you wanna make sure it blends. Make sure you blend it all down here. You don't wanna have a mask. Or look like you got a mask on. Next, we're gonna go in with concealer. Now, you can do this step. Most people do it if they have dark circles under their eyes or if they wanna highlight, like make this part of their face brighter. <laughs> so you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I like to do it to highlight my face. And I do have a few dark circles, you know. Well, bags, I guess, as we call them. So I'm just gonna put some concealer down there. And I need to get some more. Oh, and I didn't even show y'all what concealer I'm using. 
I'm using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Um, and I am in the shade of Nutmeg. And this is what it looks like. NYX Concealer, so in the shade Nutmeg. Then you just wanna blend that out, obviously. And then next you want to set this concealer with a loose setting powder and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose um, Finishing Powder. This is the shade 35 Deep. They do have different shades, I guess. So like a lighter one, then a darker one. Oh, I did not mean to get this much powder out. But you want to set your concealer because you don't want it to crease. And I'm really going to set this powder around my um, mouth area because I do get smile lines really, really bad. So after concealer, I do my eyes. A lot of people do their eyes first. I'm just showing you my makeup routine and products that you can get at an affordable price. However you do your makeup is how you do yours. But this is how I do mine. So I'm just going to take a concealer and this is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, this is in the shade honey 30 honey and it's really really light and i use it uh for a base for my eyeshadow because it helps my eyeshadow lay better so for eyeshadow palettes i think i think most of the stuff i've used here y'all is probably maybelline well i use a few other products but i love maybelline and this is their city mini palette and this is the coco city palette and I thought it was so cute, so cute. But I'm gonna go in with this color first. And this is gonna be play as like my base and my transition shade. So next I'm gonna go in with the brown shade. I'm gonna attempt to try to like cut the crease on me. I'm gonna attempt this pink shade right here. I'm gonna use this shimmer shade right here. And I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. I know this ain't drugstore, but it's a drugstore shimmer, so <laughs> I need some Fix Plus. And we're just gonna put this right in the corner here. Uh, this color's pretty. And we're gonna bring it like kinda to the middle. I guess it is too many. Next, I'm going to take this color right here and put it right next to that shimmer shade. And we're going to build it like right up here. And I know y'all probably can't see this, sorry. Then we're gonna go in with that pink shade that we went in with before. And we're gonna pop her right at the end. And then blend her into our crease. I know I'm looking real clowny, but we are gonna fix her up. We ain't done, we just gonna take them same colors and pop them back in. And then back with our brown. Right on the edge, just to neutralize all that out. Next, I go in with blush, and today I'm using the Milani Baked Blush, and this is in the color Rose Dior. It's a pretty color. Just gonna pop that on our cheeks. I'm 
I'm gonna go back to eyes and I'm going to use my Maybelline Big Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Y'all see me use this mascara in many videos, so obviously, you know, this is a product that I use on the regular. And everybody always thinks I have on false lashes, like natural ones, but really, But really, this is all I got on mascara. I just go dumb with the mascara. We also gonna put this color in our inner corner. Tear it. In our inner corner, tear it. You know what I mean? This area right here. So we're actually gonna bring this down. Then we're gonna go in with our highlight, and y'all already know we're using Maybelline. Now, if there's not one Maybelline product I like, y'all know I love the highlight. Like, it's just, it's fire. There's no need to go buy a $30 highlight when you got Maybelline for, I don't even know how much it costs, but I know she ain't $30. So, if you don't buy nothing else, public service announcement. If you don't buy nothing else out of this stuff that I show y'all today, this need to be the one. She needs to be the one that you invest in. Her, you, you need her. She's a necessity. Next, we're gonna go in with our lip. And then we're gonna go in with our L'Oreal lipstick and this is in Brazil Nut. So, this is what the shade looks like. All right, so I went and got my gloss. This is my ColourPop uh, gloss, the Shayla Collab. And this is still a drugstore price because I think this gloss is like $7, so. Then we're gonna go in with our Urban Decay setting spray. Y'all, I just thought about it. I do not have a setting spray from the drugstore. I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay setting spray. I'm so sorry, I did not know. I have a and I also don't have a bronzer from the drugstore but that's because I'm new to bronzing and I only bought it because I was at Sephora and I seen the Rihanna one I was like mm, this one's cute I want to try bronzing so I bought that one and listen I'm real I'm broke okay <laughs> I'm showing y'all how to work with what you got i just so happen to have a few things here because i like makeup i like planning makeup i've been planning makeup for a couple of years now but work with what you got boo and if you don't have bronzer but that's not really on your list to be doing right now they don't get it the thing that needs to be on your list is this highlighter and i am not sponsored but maybelline y'all should sponsor me because i use this in every video but because it's bomb all right guys, so this completes the end of the drugstore makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys go out and buy some of these products. Um, I absolutely love the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm pretty sure I've used this in a few videos, but I absolutely love it. This is normally my everyday go-to um, foundation whenever I'm like going to class or running errands or whatever the case may be. This is the one I normally wear. It's from the drugstore and it's probably about $8. So I don't have the prices for y'all, but I'm sure y'all in Walmart every day like me. So go check it out. X HD Concealer. I love this concealer. I need to go get more. Uh, I switched between this one and another one, but I really do like the NYX Concealer. The City Mini Palette. This palette was really pretty. I love the colors in there. I'm definitely, I definitely want to use it again. It looks really good. The Milani blush, I use this as well too. This is probably the only blush that I can find in a drugstore that matches my skin tone. And sometimes, you know, I gotta go OD with it. Like, we're gonna go OD with it right now. I can't even tell, but, you know. But yeah, I like this, uh, this blush. So it's a really pretty blush. Big Colossal, Big Shot. Love this mascara. It keeps the lashes popping. The real lashes popping. Y'all already know how your girl feel about this highlight. And then this lipstick. This is my first time trying this lipstick. Like, I can't wait to wear this. But, yo. 
this is about to be my my go-to fall and i'm loving it with the with the gloss i mean i love it without the gloss i'm definitely gonna wear it without the gloss too but i'm, I'm loving it with the gloss like it just looks so cute but all right you guys i've rambled enough these are the products go out and buy them they are amazing love them see you guys in the next one <laughs> also lame bye bye